How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. This is the Nook Simple Touch for Beginners. And I just want to go over some of the basics of what's what, what's where, so that you can um, have a little little bit of background in uh, how to use it. Uh, the It does come with a little manual, a little quick start guide. Um, and there is a built-in manual on the Nook itself. But um, in case you don't like to read like me, maybe you just want to just learn how to use it real quick, then this video is going to help you do that. So first things first, power button is right here. Um, to turn it off, turn it back on. Mine actually froze the other day, and I had to kind of hold down on power to just turn it off and then uh, turn it back on again. Hold down it, and that's how you turn it off, and you'll hit power off. And then it'll fully be off, and then, you know, you go ahead and press the button again. And that button will actually kick it back on. So, you know, I I don't know if it's maybe one of those things where if it just sits too long, maybe that's why it would go off like that. But let's go ahead and turn it back on. And now it's going to pop back on. Read forever. The Nook is starting up. So while that's going, um, on the right side you have the slot for the micro SD card. Um, if you go on Amazon, you can get a uh, micro SD card. I, I bought a 32 gigabyte recently for $11. And you can store thousands and thousands and thousands of books for that amount of storage. So um, that's what that's for. At the bottom is where you charge it. You'll use your micro USB cable that it comes with. Uh, which is right here. You could charge it via computer or via uh, the wall. And then if you want to unlock it, what you're going to do is take your finger, you're just going to start the lock and you're going to drag it across. And let's try it again. Drag it across like that. Oh, other way. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Press down, drag. And it doesn't like me. Okay. There we go. So drag it across. That's how you unlock it. This is the home screen. It's the first screen you're going to see um, when you get started. And what I love about the home screen is that it always shows you what book you're currently reading. And I was actually going through the user guide, so that's why it has that right here. So it's a quick shortcut. I can just tap right here to jump right into whatever I was reading. I tap here, and it'll be back at the same page and right at my spot. And I can press... The home button right here, or the excuse me, the Nook button, and I can go home. It will take me back there. Okay. Um, they'll have recommendations here, and then also the top 100 Barnes and Noble books as well. Um, if you if you want to just get into the store, maybe do some shopping, you would press the Nook button. You want to go to the to shop. Okay. And then here is where you could actually type in uh, a book you're trying to find, like I originally typed in Hunger Games just to see if it was available okay and so now they have all the different um, you know books in here and they have a bunch of other cool ones little like guides and you know all other kind of stuff so this is how you would search a book and let's say we can tap on Catching Fire okay and you could actually download a free sample. So if we tap on a free sample, um, it would actually download it right to the unit. You could look at a couple pages to see if, hey, is this one that I want? And when it's ready, resample will light up and we'll tap on there. And then it'll actually let us. So it has nine pages that we can look at. I don't know why they always give you the table of contents. It's like, why would you want that part of the book? But anyway. Um, so nice and quick, you just swipe to the right to change pages. Now you also have, uh, you have these buttons that are on the side right here. You have some on the right, some on the left. And so the way it comes set when you buy it is the ones at the top take you to the right. Alright, you can't use your thumbs here. So that takes you to the right. The ones at the bottom take you to the left. Okay, so left and right. And again, this top one will take me to the right as well. So back forward and you can actually go on the settings and switch it if you like that better I'm gonna go back and you know it's nice and quick very responsive maybe you want to go back to the menu we're gonna press our nook button and we want to go home now what we also can do is we can uh, go to our library and we can actually see what we've downloaded so far so these are a couple of books that it comes with uh, defeating uh, Jacob pride and prejudice and then um, we have our sample book we just downloaded in the Nook Simple Guide. So this is how you would just quickly look at the books that you already own. Okay. And then um, this is actually the, the Nook 
simple touch with glow light. So if you want to turn on the, the backlight, you would actually hold down on the, the nook button right here. Just hold down and the light will pop on. There you go. And now the backlight is on and the way you know it's on is you'll have that little light bulb right here as well. If you hit the nook button again and tap on glow light, you'll be able to control the light. So you, maybe you want to make it, right now it's at full brightness but we can turn it down, you know, depending on how bright the room is. Okay. And look how responsive it is. Nice and quick. And then, or you can just turn it off by here. Just click the lights on, uncheck that, and it's off. On, off. Okay, so that's how you control the glow light. Um, and then now we're gonna go back to the main menu here. Or actually, um, one more thing with your library, there's a search option right here, and you can uh, tap search and type in a book. Maybe if you have a, if you've downloaded a lot of books, um, you'd actually be able to uh, search through your library to find books quicker. Okay, I haven't downloaded a lot, so that's why there's just five in there. I'm going to close that. And then you have an option right here to sync. So if you want to um, basically, maybe you just bought a book from like um, BarnesNoble.com. Um, you can sync it with your account and it will download it right to the Simple Touch. Okay, at the top here you have the user guide. If you tap on that little book in the corner, this, oh, excuse me, this actually, I was wrong. That's a shortcut that actually takes you back to the current book you were reading. So watch this. Again, in the corner right here, if I tap on that, you can jump right back into the book you're reading and the page that you were on. So that's pretty cool. So you don't have to like hit Nook button and then Home. It just takes you right there. Um, and then also to the right, you have Notifications. So if we tap on that. We have a notification right now that tells you about sharing your reading and recommendations with friends. And we're just going to clear that out like that. Okay. Um, upper right shows you the, the battery, how good the battery is doing. So we're about halfway right now. The time is right here. And let's see. You, uh, if we press the uh, Nook button, we can also go to our settings. And these are some other features, like if you want to connect to the, your wireless uh, internet, you would tap on wireless, and you would do it in that option. You can adjust the screen here. Um, and these are some shortcuts to the shop. You also have the social feature, which will let you link up your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus if you want to share different quotes that you like in the book, you can share them with friends. Um, and you can also, under your device info, it will show you uh, the exact percentage of your battery and it also show you how much available storage you have for downloading. Uh, also, if you want to erase and deregister your device, maybe you want to give it away, you would tap on there and that's how you would reset it like when you first got it. Okay, so that's about it. I mean, this is, again, Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light for Beginners. So just want to kind of go over some of the basic things of how to use it. Um, one last thing, obviously, if you're in the store, go to shop, and if you see a book that you like, you would tap on buy, okay? And then once you confirm it, it would actually pull the money right from your credit card, and then it would download the book right to your unit, okay? And um, as you set it up, there will be uh, a place where you actually put your credit card, and you actually set up an account with Barnes & Noble so that when you buy, it's as simple as just hitting the button, and it will just download for you, and it just builds your credit card. So that's it right there. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, um, but this has been, the again, the Nook Simple Touch with Low Light for Beginners. Hope it was helpful. Uh, like the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and keep watching. Have a good one.